Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're going to have some fun. So, I just wanted to do a weekly roundup where we talk about all the craziness that went down this last week with the trial and just things that Jay and I have learned about and interesting behind the scenes stuff on our end. But um, I do have to point out, you're like, what are we watching? You guys, Jay's a genius. He found these characters on the WWE game and he even found an Amber Heard character. So we're going to put them in the wrestling ring. I can't... I'm not going to show them. They they don't let boys wrestle against girls. I'm not trying to go that route. It's just funny to see her strutting around like this, knowing what we know about her. And So I thought we could talk about what happened this week while watching these funny videos of these wrestlers, or I should say these people as wrestlers, including you'll see a Johnny Depp wrestler. Yeah, so these were just fan creations I found on the uh, public download area of uh, the previous WWE game. Uh, I wish I could take credit for making these. They did a really good job on Amber Heard, and I see her strutting around. But uh, the uh, yeah, these are just random people that uploaded them for other people to download. So we found some fun ones. Uh, not going to showcase them wrestling. It's kind of counterproductive to the whole thing going on right now. I mean, you know, violence isn't cool. Stupidity is awesome though. So we've got plenty of that. So I'm you know, we may have found some other people uh, that are connected to this whole saga, and they may make an appearance as well. I wanted to point out that YouTube just added a thank you button to my videos, which I'm super excited about. Anything given through the thank you button comes straight to me and will be put toward the new microphone I'm saving for. So again, thank you all who have contributed. It truly means a lot to me. I appreciate every single one of you. So check that out. Let's get into this. Okay, you guys, let's have some fun. Take a look at this. So this is the intro for Johnny Depp's character on WWE. Watch how he makes his entrance. It really made us laugh, cracked us up. I love this one so much. And you'll find out about the surprise guests coming up. But let's talk about news of the week. So it's been an interesting week. Of course, we had Amber Heard take the stand. Of course, they had her. Okay, so let me back up. This week... They did Monday through Thursday, which is normal. That's what they usually film for the, uh, that's when they do the court. Uh, and then they take next week off. So, of course, they wanted to leave with Amber Heard. Her side did, I mean. Uh, so that way it would be more impactful for the jury. And they'd think all week about her testimony. Well, hopefully it's paying off to our side because they can spend a week thinking about what we all saw there. Because it was nuts. Um, if you didn't see it, we put out a body language video. Definitely check that out because we go into all the details why we don't believe her. But um, let's talk about other things going on this week. Jay, you had some funny takes on this. What's going on this week? Yeah, so all eyes were on this clown show all week. So all kinds of things are coming up from the trial and before the trial is per <laughs> perpendicular to the trial. And um, I guess the first thing I should address is we got tricked. <laughs> the uh, We brought it up in a previous video. Um, the stolen quote from uh, the talented Mr. Ripley. Apparently that did not happen. Um, I'm not sure if some of the other ones did. I guess some of the plot points. I mean, it sounds like those were real. But this could have been, I mean, she did fire her PR team. But presumably she has a new one. It's not uncommon for people to leak fake stories um, similar to real ones just to throw everybody off. I know uh, it may become relevant in a little bit, but I, I remember uh, Tesla started selling a cyber whistle about a year ago, and everybody's like, why in the hell are they selling a whistle? Apparently a bunch of news came out about a whistleblower at one of their plants. So uh, if you searched uh, Tesla whistleblower, it would, more than, uh, it would get obscured by all the sales from the Cybertruck whistle. <laughs> So it's, I mean, that's an extreme example, but it's not uncommon. Yeah, got to give a huge shout out to Leah. Leah is always in the comments. She is a wealth of knowledge on this stuff, but she pointed at me to other YouTubers and people who have explained the reason that they, that they, that it's believed that they, that it was her PR team is so that way when people like us fall for it and quote it, they can be like, no, see, everybody lies about her. It's not real, you know, whatever. So Whatever, don't care. Let's move on to the next topic. Okay, so we talked about this in another video. We kind of danced around it, but let's talk about the tissue of it all. 
tell me you've seen what we've talked what we're talking about i feel like if you're watching this you probably have yeah a lot of talk about tissues this week um so I, I believe a lot of people pointed out that the tissue box at the uh, stand seemed to be untouched, uh, at least for a part of it. I don't, I, I'm not too familiar on that aspect, but it did appear that she pulled out a tissue from her sleeve and she used it in a very strange way, uh, potentially inhaling rather than exhaling. That's not how snot works. And, uh, a lot of speculation on that, like her licking her lips afterwards was a telltale sign for some people. That part I can't really speculate on. I'm no expert on uh, the booger sugar. The That's not something in my wheelhouse, uh, or maybe some people call it nose nachos. I don't think people call it that. I'm actually making a, an inside joke to a... If you ever look at one of those drug tests in the store... Uh, you know, you could just buy it at the uh, at CVS or Walgreens on the shelf. I believe it's on the box itself, or maybe it's in the instruction booklet. I can't remember, but there, there's references to uh, street terms of uh, certain substances that make no sense that nobody's ever said, and they're hilarious. <laughs> but uh, anyways, there's a lot of armchair speculation on Twitter about the Kleenex. Uh, one of the more believable theories to me. I, I mean, I, I find it hard to believe that anybody would be so brazen to just uh, uh, take a bump on the, uh, the stand right beside the judge in front of a jury. Uh, more believable, one of the things I read was maybe there was uh, you know, a clump of uh, menthol or something on the, the Kleenex. You know, it's the same thing that's in like Vicks Vapor Rub, that kind of stuff. You know, you put that right in your nose, you're, you're, you're going to be crying and uh, your eyes are going to well up. So it could have been helpful for uh, certain aspects of the testimony, maybe. But at the same time, if you had a big Kleenex full of menthol, the judge might be like, why does she smell like Ben Gay? Like, <laughs> what's going on over there? So I don't know. There's a lot going on. But something, either at the end of the day, either something happened or she doesn't know how to use Kleenex. And either option cracks me up. Okay, so we've seen Johnny Depp and Amber Heard here in the wrestling video. Now i got to show you the next one, the surprise guest that Jay found that is really making me laugh. So here we have Elon Musk. And since we're bringing Elon up on our screen, again, thank you, Jay, for finding this. This is too funny. Um, Jay, you want to talk about the, I don't know, rumor slash news going around about Elon and uh, what people are talking about? So some images of Elon uh, during his uh, time dating Amber Heard have surfaced, and a lot of speculation has been uh, brewing about that on the internet. And again, it's the internet, just like before, we got tricked. So take that with a grain of salt. They could be photoshopped. They could be real. I don't know. Elon's not talking, but uh, you can probably search those up on Google. They, uh, you know, it's Elon and Amber in public holding hands. But he's got some marks on his face, uh, pretty clearly like he'd been hit. I mean, that you know that uh, that in its own isn't conclusive of anything. But uh, in light of recent accusations, it's uh, very interesting. I had trouble wrapping my head around that one until he showed me the photos, and I was like, "Damn, it really does look like he got hit." So interesting timing. We'll just say that. Okay, so. Here we have Vision. If you watched WandaVision and all, that makes sense. And if you don't, it's okay. Vision is played by Paul Bettany. Why is Vision on here? Well, Paul Bettany plays a role in all this. Uh, it's come out in testimony that supposedly Amber Heard... Well, back up. Johnny Depp and Paul Bettany were good friends. And Amber Heard could not have been worse to Paul Bettany, it sounds like. There's... Um, testimony that they went to the to Johnny's private island together with Paul Bettany, his wife Jennifer great name by the way, Jennifer Connelly um, and at least one of their children, they talk about a son in particular and she could not have been more rude and ended up I think, believe making the son cry because she was so rude and, and speaking so poorly to him, there's just uh, again it's speculation but it's story that has come out since all of this and so it, it so that's why you see Vision on your screen. Thank you, Jay, for Vision. And last but not least, we have Jason Momoa, a.k.a. Aquaman, who you may recall, his movie also starred Amber Heard. 
And coincidentally, when this trial started up, it looked like Jason Momoa followed Johnny Depp on Twitter. So take that, take with that what you may. Um, I get the feeling that he's probably on Team Johnny. And uh, there's a petition going around now also to have Amber Heard removed from Aquaman 2. And what, it's got like 2 million signatures on it now? I mean, we know how, we all know how effective petitions are. But, I mean, that does show uh, what the public sentiment is right now. I think Aquaman 2 is not far from release, or it's at least, uh, you know, wind, I mean, they're done filming. So if they take her out, I'll be surprised. But, I mean, that, that says a lot. And I mean, and then I guess the last thing I've brought up Aquaman a lot about how horrible their on-screen chemistry, on-screen chemistry was. I mean, it's like abysmally awful. I mean, I would tell people to watch. I mean, Aquaman's a pretty decent movie. I mean, if you like Thor, you like Aquaman. But it's hilarious to watch how awful they interact. It's like the most cringy, like ro- quote-unquote romance I've seen in a movie. Um, but I will say, uh, after her performance this week uh, in court, it makes her performance in Aquaman look like an Oscar-worthy uh, performance. <laughs> and a quick update on that. As Jay was saying that, I pulled up the petition. It's on change.org in case you want to sign it. And at the time of this recording, it's at 3.7 million signatures. That's pretty incredible, huh? Okay, and then a funny note that I've been dying to talk about, but I just didn't have the video or anywhere to put it in, so I'm going to talk about it here. So in my quote-unquote real life, I swing trade stocks. I'm always looking into stocks. I have these groups that I'm in where we discuss, you know, what what stocks we're working on. It's a, it doesn't matter. It's boring. Um, but something funny is I do notice that even in my boring, nerdy stock group, they have started comparing stocks that are drying up to uh, Amber Heard's tissues in the courtroom because, again, all that fake crying and no actual tears happening. I just I, that really cracked me up. Yeah, if you keep up with any finance news, you may have noticed this week was not a good week for uh, stocks or any kind of investment or money. But uh, one of the the best comments I read was uh, after the big drop on uh, Wednesday, I believe. Um, they said, I'm going to rename my portfolio to Amber Heard because it just shit the bed. Oh my gosh. When he told me that I could not stop laughing and yeah, I get it. The stock market is garbage right now. So (laughs) that analogy just makes way too much sense to me. So yeah, that's it for the news for the week. Again, this was just kind of a fun knowledge dump for us. We just kind of wanted to talk through some of the things that didn't have a place in our other videos. Plus Jay came up with this excellent idea to show you know, wrestling matches. There Johnny Depp is putting the moves, well, that sounds romantic, but putting the moves on Elon. (laughs) But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to do more silly videos like this, let us know in the comments. We're happy to do it. And yeah, we appreciate everything. Do check out Jay's channel. It's Dr. Bad Vibes, all one word. And he does nerdy video game stuff. He's working on potentially playing one of the Pirates of the Caribbean game. And the reason that's interesting is because it's uh, it's actually voiced by Johnny Depp. So definitely check that out. It's not quite up yet, but he is working on that. So check back for that. And again, thank you guys for being here. If you're so inclined to hit that thanks button, it really does help out the channel. I so appreciate that. So many of you have done such kind things for me and I'm just so moved. I really am. And every donation goes straight toward the new microphone I'm saving for. I know I keep talking about it, but I'm very excited about it. New sound system I'm saving for everything that goes along with it, all the wires, all the cables, the stand, all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had the best day and I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.